learned in the process of my work that everyone has a story. I never will forget a woman in Rwanda that I met who seven of her children died on top of her in one of the church massacres. When I was walking in Sarajevo in the midst of the war and passed through a half-destroyed building and heard music coming out of it, piano. And I thought, and I was like, what's going on in here? Wait, there's war in here and there are bullets and there is music coming out? I enter and it was the music school. And all the teachers, of course, were women. And when I talked to them, they said, this is our resistance. The Congolese woman, she had been raped by eight men. She had, uh, as in the past of being raped, she was seeing her nine-year-old, her 23 years old, and her 20-year-old girls also being raped next to her. Also by so many men, she did not know how many. And she looked at me and she said, you are the only one I told the story to. I've never told the story to anybody else before. So I look at her and I said, what do you want me to do? I usually share the stories. I usually would write about it and talk about it. Should I keep your story secret? And she, she looked at me and she said, if I can tell the whole world about my story and that may stop other women from going what I've gone through, I would. And it was the most humbling moment in my life, I think. Because, you know, you go there and you think you are helping them. You're saving them. And for me, it has been a series of them saving me. And I think in many ways, they save us. Hearing stories of atrocities committed against women during the war in the former Yugoslavia, Zeynep Salbi wanted to respond by doing something practical. She learned that casualties among women and children outnumber casualties among combatants. And systematic rape is often used as a tactic of war, torture, and terrorism. So Zainab organized a few friends to create sister-to-sister -sister connections between sponsors in the United States and women survivors of war in Bosnia and Herzegovina. These connections marked the beginning of Women for Women International. Recognizing that financial assistance alone would not be enough to create sustainable, long-term change in the lives of women who have lost everything, Zainab and her group of volunteers developed a program that focused on three things. Developing marketable skills for the women, cultivating an understanding of their rights and potential as women, and creating secure ways to earn an income for future years. The ingenuity and persistence of the group brought increased visibility, which in turn provided an infusion of funding. With their newfound dollars and growing field experience, Women for Women International broadened the program with microcredit lending and additional skills training. The additional aid and training allows women to gradually gain the confidence and stature needed to survive the effects of war and to assimilate into their communities as active participants. Women for Women also expanded operations to other countries, including Iraq, Afghanistan, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Sudan, Kosovo, Colombia, Nigeria, and Rwanda. The organization's four-step year-long program now includes direct aid and sponsorship, job skills training, and business development support. Simultaneously, participants receive social, economic, and political rights awareness education from Women for Women trainers, some of whom are graduates of the program. And we help them move from victims to survivors to active citizens. We start with a sponsorship program in which we ask every woman around the world to sponsor one woman at a time by sending her $27 a month, along with a letter to start communication link between the two women. You receive her letter, she receives yours. And in this era of war, I really feel that this is the best diplomatic efforts one can have. During its first year of operation, Women for Women supported 32 women with about $9,000 in direct aid. Since then, it has distributed $28 million in direct aid and loans to 70,000 women, benefiting some 380,000 family members. Sponsors from 56 countries have joined Women for Women International, 
creating a worldwide community of allies and advocates for women affected by conflict and war. The organization's expertise informs the international debate on the role of women in the rebuilding of families, communities, and nations in post-conflict societies. We need to understand their stories and to complete our understanding of war and to complete our understanding of how we build peace. The Women for Women International mission statement speaks of a world where no one is abused or marginalized, where everyone has the freedom to define the scope of their lives and to strive to achieve their full potential. When that vision is finally realized, it is certain that Zainab Salbi and Women for Women International will have led the way. And my favorite poem is, is out beyond the worlds of right doings and wrong doings. There is a field. I will meet you there. I love this because I feel it leaves the room for complexities and the gray that people really live in. And today, I really believe that in this era of war and peace, I believe out beyond the walls of war and peace, there is a field and women are meeting there.